What's up friends and welcome back to my channel. This week I'm sharing my full review of the new at-home fitness bike, Stride. I've been testing it out for the past two weeks and so I will share with you my honest thoughts about how this bike works, what the classes are like, and what you ultimately get for the price. But before I do, let's get the Peloton issue out of the way because I'm sure you're wondering how the two compare. And for that, I think it's safe to say the two can't really compete with each other at this time. Peloton is a well-oiled machine with a diehard fan base and it's been around for almost 10 years, whereas Stride just launched last year. So I definitely think the bike has potential, but it is not perfect. And I'll discuss some of those growing pains in this video. That being said, Stride does offer something unique in this space, which is why I agreed to try their product and do a review in the first place. You see, their whole value prop is to spotlight small spin studios throughout the country. And so these are the types of classes you're going to find on their platform. Not to mention Stride is $500 cheaper than Peloton, and you can even access Peloton classes on their tablet. So if any of this resonates with you and you've actually been looking for a bike that doesn't have a brand name attached to it, then stick around as I share my own experience and the pros and cons of riding with Stride. But first, if you're new here, welcome. My mission is to help you achieve success without sacrificing your health or happiness. I do product reviews weekly, so if you're into this, click that subscribe button and join the Type A tribe. So no better place to start than to kick things off with bike mechanics and setup. So full warning, the Stride bike comes in two boxes and does require an at-home assembly. Now I have cleaned a lot of bikes in my day, but I have never put one together from scratch. But if I'm being honest, it really wasn't that bad. As you'll see in the time-lapse video here, most of the bike comes pre-assemble. And so it really only took us about 45 minutes to get everything hooked up and ready to ride. Now I realize a lot of these companies do full service delivery, but I guess this is how Stride can expedite shipping and keep their costs down. Next, we move on to the bike itself and what you can actually expect from the ride. So the Stride bike itself doesn't take up a lot of space. It really can fit in any two by four section of your house, which is pretty common with most bikes these days. And they have wheels in the front so you can very easily maneuver it around. Now, as far as the handlebars go, the Stride bike only can move up five inches, which isn't all that high compared to some other bikes on the market. Plus there's no way to adjust the handlebar depth, which means you're really limited to just the seat depth only. And on that note, regarding height, it's really meant for people between five feet and six five. So if you're out of that frame, I would definitely consider another option. And another thing to note is that I did find the handlebar moved slightly while doing some heavy choreography on the bike. So something to be aware of if you are an aggressive rider. Now, as far as resistance or bike tension goes, this bike has a lot of capacity. You can crank it up to 100 on resistance. And for comparison, I was barely able to push past the 50 point mark on most of my rides. But I did notice something strange happen when I really cranked up that resistance. And I'm not alone because YouTuber Learn With Travis confirmed the same thing in his review, which I'll link below. And what I found is that it sort of feels like you're stomping without out a smooth flow to your pedal strokes. There's an element of support missing from this wheel, which made some of those transitions to higher resistance a little rough on me. And it's probably something you're not gonna find with a lot of the other bikes on the market. But at low to medium resistance, this isn't a problem. And I've gotta say the bike really runs smooth right from the start. It also has a magnetic micro resistance system, making it super quiet, which is really great if you live in an apartment. And in Wrapping up with mechanics, I've got to say that bike is ultra sturdy and it's probably due to that welded steel frame holding it in place. Plus the pedals are just fine and can be used with sneakers or SPD cleats and the seat itself is pretty comfortable. Although if you haven't rode a bike in a while, expect to be a little bit sore for a day or two after your first class. And finally, we come to the Stride tablet and classes. And before I talk about Stride's own classes, we have to talk about the best feature on the whole platform. And that 
is the free ride. So on the home screen of their app, you can actually click this free ride button, which allows you to track your metrics even if you leave the app. Since this is an Android tablet, you can actually download Netflix, browse YouTube, or even check email all during your workout. Stride also gives you the ability to download the Peloton app. So in theory, you could take a Peloton class and still track your output through this Stride free ride function. So if you prefer Peloton style classes, this kind of gives you the best of both worlds. And since Peloton's digital membership is only $13 a month, this hack could potentially save you somewhere around $600 so long as you don't care about leadership board or tracking your stats through Peloton. But say you're not a fan of Peloton, Stride does offer their own set of classes too for a monthly membership fee of $30 a month. And as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, Stride's whole value prop is to give users access to smaller spin studios across the country from Denver to Miami rather than rely on one studio or one set of instructors. So right now you have five different studios to choose from, but I do know that Stride is planning to expand this list in the coming months. So this is really great if you're looking for diversity with your classes, as each studio has a different backdrop and really offers its own unique flair. Now regarding the content itself, Stride's sole focus is spin. So right now their membership includes over a hundred cycling classes and dozens more being added each week, but nothing in the way of strength training or yoga, at least not yet. So when you open up the app, you can actually choose from one of the featured classes on their homepage, or you can get more specific and choose a class based on music genre, class length, studio, etc. Your stats appear when you start riding, and these include things like your RPM, cadence, and resistance. But no, this bike does not include a heart rate monitor, nor does it include spin shoes or dumbbells. So all of those things you have to source on your own. If I'm being totally honest, the classes themselves were good, but nothing out of this world. What you get are balanced classes with basic choreography and moderate interval training. Yes, I got a good sweat in, and yes, I felt challenged at times, but I would be lying if I said I pushed myself as hard as I would in a real spin class. Because at the end of the day, there's a major factor missing, motivation. And I'm not sure it's the instructor's fault entirely. I really think it has to do with the very nature of the at-home bike. There's a real art to commanding a class and inspiring change through spoken word, which really just doesn't translate over webcam, no matter how good the instructor is. Obviously, the at-home experience is going to feel so different from the in-person one. There's no getting around that, even if you do turn on your red light device to try and create more of a party vibe. But for me, it's this lack of connection to the instructor or even fellow riders that makes the whole experience just less enticing. And despite its prominent presence in my living room, I didn't really feel compelled to take a class every single day. And maybe that's a good thing, especially for someone like me. And to understand what I mean by this, you can check out my full video on my previous exercise addiction in the show notes below. But on the flip side, if you're the type of person who really needs that extra push to start working out, not entirely sure this bike is the best for motivation. And finally, we come to the acoustics, which it's probably the biggest complaint I have about the whole bike. Starting with the tablet itself, the overall sound system is pretty subpar. Considering the price of this bike, I expected it to be as good as its competition, but it didn't come close. Even at the highest volume, the audio still sounded muffled and was hard to hear. Now, it was slightly better with headphones, but for me, that kind of defeats the point of the at-home workout. And on top of that, there was some inconsistency in audio among different instructors and different studios. So a poor sound system combined with inconsistent audio quality definitely posed some challenges and is something I hope the company is able to resolve quickly if they expect to compete in this landscape. So taking all of these things into account, who is the Stride bike meant for? And I'd say if you're looking for a really sturdy bike that's 
cheaper than Peloton, but not one that you can just buy off Amazon. And you're really interested in supporting local studios and spin instructors, then yeah, I think the Stride bike might be a great fit for you. That being said, the at-home bike market is a red ocean right now, meaning the competition is rife with high quality products and low cost options. So I guess my point here is that the bike industry is quickly following the trend of the massage gun industry. It's becoming a lot cheaper and easier to manufacture these bikes. And so at the end of the day, what you're really paying for is brand name. And of course, the classes that go along with that brand. So if these bikes follow suit with the trend of the massage guns, we're probably gonna see these bikes get cheaper and cheaper in the coming months. So just something to maybe consider as you're thinking about purchasing one of these bikes. So that is my take on the Stride bike and well, I guess the whole bike industry as a whole, but I just like to be honest with you guys and tell you where I'm seeing trends go. And if you guys want to learn a little bit more about how to utilize these bikes to actually get the most out of your workouts in less time, I've included a link to my most recent video in the show notes below. Definitely go and check that out. And while you're there, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And if you guys aren't already subscribed, make sure to click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you get notified each week when I drop a new video. And until then, I cannot wait to catch you right here, back on the big island, not sure for how long, <laughs> on the next one.